me in the kitchen a little bit better. Kitchen chairs are not the safest to stand on. So it'd be good. No, for six yeah. Yeah, so then when we stand on them, it's not as safe. I got to make them fall off. Yeah, I know. That's why we gotta get the learning tower fixed. You wanna do some more Christmas baking today? Do, I do. Yeah. And we still have our shortbread and our peppermint chocolate chip cookies, ginger molasses cookies. A very cozy breakfast that I have been making recently is oatmeal with apples on top. So basically I just saute them in a pan with a little bit of brown sugar and cinnamon, probably like a tablespoon of brown sugar for all the apples and then a teaspoon of cinnamon or less. I honestly don't know how much I measure with my heart, but it's a very cozy fall slash winter kind of breakfast. I also put some chia seeds in there for omegas. Only downside is you gotta Wait to eat it. Yeah, mommy can read the Bible. I'll try and read the Bible and feed Jude simultaneously. But I can't stop loving them. I will give them a new start. I will forgive them. No, said Jonah, they don't deserve it. Even though you've run far from God, he can't stop loving you. Jonah told them, run to him so he can forgive you. I heard someone say that it wasn't until they became a mom that they realized why the mama bear's oatmeal was cold in the story and now I know why. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, I'm going to be doing a day in the life vlog, specifically a day in the life as a mom that has two toddlers, but is also 20 weeks pregnant. I have a one-year-old and a two-year-old and expecting another baby in the spring. So obviously life is very full right now and life with young kids certainly is full, but that doesn't mean that everything that it is full with is bad or negative. I feel like a lot of times because it is very intense to have young kids and it's a tiring season that it gets a bad rap and people are afraid of it. But my hope is that through this vlog, you can see that there's still a lot of joy in our days, a lot of fun in our days, while still keeping it very realistic for you guys as well. It's been a really long time since I have done a singular day in the life. I feel like it's been over two months now. I usually just do days in the life for a number of reasons. I feel like one of them being that I try not to show too much content of my kids on here. I want it to be very much still like my channel and my motherhood journey. And so naturally that means that there are very few times in the day that I can actually vlog. One of them being like like when I'm up before the kids, during nap time, but then obviously like after bedtime as well. Then on the days that I've been vlogging and trying to do that, I end up just like working through every spare like free moment that I have as a person to get the vlog done. And sometimes that's okay, I don't mind it. It's fun to bring you guys along for days in the life. But my challenge for myself today is to actually start this vlog in one day and wrap it up in one day. We do have a pretty full evening tonight. We have a Christmas party with some some people from church with like a gift exchange and potluck and things like that. So I'm not sure yet what this day is going to look like, how much prep I'm gonna have to do for that this afternoon. But one of the things that I've been trying to do just throughout this season of busy holiday parties and things on the calendar is trying to have my days at home with the kids be so uber slow, where there's really only a couple things on the agenda and that's all that we do. And I, in another season of life, might have like felt bad about that. Like I need to get out of the house more or take them to more like activities or experiences. But what I feel like they honestly need is just a slow pace of life where there's no anxiousness, there's no running from one thing to the next. And so our time together at home today will be 
be very slow. To be honest, I am feeling very sleepy today. We are on the back half of sickness in our household and I actually had a sinus infection on the back half of like my four weeks of being sick. So I'm going on like six weeks of congestion now and in pregnancy, that's often a common thing too, is just like congestion that doesn't go away for a really long time. So I've just been trying to find pockets of rest here and there and one of the things that my husband and I have been doing for each other a lot better and more like as a team now that he's done with the renovations on our basement is actually like swapping out with each other and giving one another a break and space to breathe because that's something that neither of us have really had for a while so while I have a second to myself right now I wanted to do something so fun that I've been waiting to do with you guys and that is unbox my winter 2023 fab fit fun box if you have never heard of FabFitFun before, it is a lifestyle membership that gives you a very unique shopping experience. You'll get access to something called the FabFitFun box, which is a seasonal box that will arrive to your door and you get to choose a number of different full-size products to try out. So things ranging from beauty to wellness to lifestyle, home, tech. And in addition to this customizable box that you'll get four times a year, you'll also get access to exclusive flash sales where you can shop top brands for up to 70% off. Another unique thing is that for whatever reason during a season, if you choose not to opt for the box, you can actually store up shop credits, which then you could use in the future towards some of those flash sales and things like that. It's a very unique shopping experience and I've got some really cool things in here. So let's dive in. Okay, so opening the box up, you can see they just list a bunch of the different brands that you can get in these boxes and they are such good brands, you guys. So I'm super excited to show you what I picked out. First thing, and one of the things I'm most excited for is this variety pack of candles from a brand called Haps. I am such a candle girl. I love to have candles going in our house basically all the time, but that means that I go through candles so quickly. So I'm really excited to try these ones out. I've actually not tried Haps candles before. So I got this little ceramic votive to put them into and then three different types of candles from them to burn. So I'm super excited to have these going throughout our house during the holiday season. In a similar vein from Haps, I also decided to go with their wick trimmer. I saw this as one of the options and thought that it was just so beautiful. And I am notorious for not trimming the wicks on my candles. Is that not just the most beautiful wick trimmer? I feel like this is literally something that you could just set out on like a little tray by your candles. So very excited about that. Diving into some of my beauty picks, I grabbed this little nail set from the brand London Town. So it has two different options in it, a red shade and then also like a shimmery, silvery, frosty white kind of shade, which I thought was just perfect for the holidays. I've been seeing so many people do like a color on their nail bed and then like a shimmer across their fingernail at the top and I think it looks so cute. So we're gonna attempt that. And then I also just grabbed a couple of skincare things. So from the brand Faded, I got some brightening and cleansing eye gels that are supposed to brighten, hydrate, and de-puff. As a mom of two toddlers that is currently pregnant, I certainly need this, so I'm very excited to use that. I also got this Lash Enhancing Serum from Grande Lash MD. This is a three-month supply. All you have to do is just once a day put a little swipe of it across your lash line, and then in four to six weeks, you're supposed to see longer lashes, so sign me up for that. And then the final thing that I picked up was also for my under eyes, which are working over over time in this season. So this is from the brand Elemis. I believe that's how you say that. It's their peptide for eye recovery cream. So this is also to revive and brighten and hydrate that under eye area. And you guys, this product alone is worth like 50 bucks. So you just can't beat the amount of things that you get in a FabFitFun box. It really is like giving yourself or gifting to someone else a full pampering experience four times a year. I am super excited to be partnering up with FabFitFun to offer you guys two different promotions for this holiday season. So there are two different ways to sign up for FabFitFun and one of those ways is as a seasonal member where you will be billed for your FabFitFun membership every three months. 
months. If you're interested in testing out the seasonal membership, I have a 20% offer for you guys. So you can save 20% off on your first box when you sign up for a seasonal membership with code Beth, and you can get a box of products worth up to $350 for just $47.99. The second option is an annual FabFitFun membership. And basically when you sign up for the annual plan, you get a little bit of extra value right up front and a little bit of extra savings. So if you're interested in testing out that annual membership, all you have to do is use the code BETHGIFT at checkout and FabFitFun will send you a $200 surprise gift for signing up for an annual membership. I have included all of the links and codes that you need to access these offers on the screen here, but also in the description box. So again, there are unique codes and unique links for each of the different seasonal and annual memberships. So be sure to check that out. Let me know if you have any questions, but I think this is just such a fun gift to ask for for yourself to just know that you have a bunch of treats that you actually get to pick out yourself that are going to be coming in the mail four times a year. And it's a great way to get your holiday shopping done as well. I know so many people that would love to receive a FabFitFun membership as a gift. So I'm really excited to be partnering up with them. Thank you so much to FabFitFun for working with me on this video. Okay, mittens. Woo! Things are flying. What kind of mittens do you want to wear? These ones or the purple ones? Uh, the purple ones. Purple? Uh, uh, Let's get some fresh air. <laughs> Is he okay? just got back from a big walk. It was probably about 45 minutes or so, even though it's very cold where we are here in Canada. I still do try to get the kids out at least once per day. Sometimes that's literally just a 30 minute timer that I put on my phone. We go out into the backyard and play, especially because one of my children doesn't really love being outside as much as the other one does. So I'll set a timer on my phone and then that way there's like a time bound period where we're getting some fresh air. But I find that walks are also great because it keeps you moving, keeps you feeling a little bit warmer. So that's what we did today. I'm just about to set my oldest up with a little craft activity and then I'm probably gonna start prepping some lunch. So for today, we're doing a nutcracker painting activity that I just found at the dollar store. There are so many great like Christmas themed activities at the dollar store right now. So I'm taking full advantage of that. I wanted to give you guys just like a preschool update because I know that I had shared about that and then like didn't report back on it. We did it throughout I want to say it was September, October, and can into November a little bit. Can I do the black one? Yeah, you can do the black one. But basically, when everything happened, like in our family, with Jared's dad passing away, we kind of just took a pause from homeschool for the month of November. Camera battery died, sorry. What I was saying is that what I've been doing for the month of like, December and the last little bit of November is basically what the company that we get our curriculum from refers to as Christmas school. So basically it's just taking advantage of the fact that there are so many opportunities to teach during this season. I'm gonna do the head. You're gonna do the head, maybe some hair. There are so many good opportunities for teaching, like baking together. There is science and math in that, wrapping presents together and picking out gifts for loved ones, writing Christmas cards for people and practicing literacy, storytelling, all of these different things. So I feel like that's what I've been really leaning into and just taking the pressure off of feeling like I need to get back into like a formal curriculum so early. There's just been so many fun ways that we've been able to incorporate learning into what we've been doing with our everyday rhythms for the last couple of weeks. So tonight we have a Christmas party, which is very exciting. We're gonna wrap some gifts for that this afternoon. We're doing like a white elephant. So one fun gift that we're gonna bring and then one that's kind of like a-, a candy cane. It looks just like a candy cane. One that you're supposed to like choose something in your house that you you don't want anymore and re-gift to someone. And then I'm trying to decide how much baking I do because I have been so just like snail speed baking this year. It just takes so much longer and is fun to incorporate kids into it, but it does take a lot longer to get any like efficient baking done. 
So we've done some gingerbread. We did gingerbread men last night, which was really fun. Um, but I also want to do shortbread, ginger molasses cookies that I make every single year. And then this really simple like peppermint chocolate chip cookie with some candy canes in it. So we'll have to see if I get any of that done this afternoon. I'm just really, like I said, trying to take it easy, trying to take the pressure off of feeling like everything has to be like checklists all the time. And if we didn't do something, we're missing out um whatever because it really is just about connecting and spending time together so <laughs> that looks so good Stuck in this pattern where every little thing matters too much. I can see the stains of all the careless words. I say them cause they hurt. Staring at a map where I can read. Both children are down for their naps. That is something that I love about having two kids that are so close together is that a hush falls over our household for two to three hours a day, which is amazing. I just finished lunch cleanup and then a really quick just pick up of the house and I'm about to get some work done. But before I do that, I wanted to give you guys a little pregnancy update. I'm officially 20 weeks now and I had my anatomy scan. I actually vlogged that experience and kind of how I felt going into it and coming out of it. We also do know now whether baby is a boy or a girl and I'm so excited to fill you guys in on that. But so far, everything is good. It's smooth sailing. We confirmed that I do have an anterior placenta, which explains why I was feeling a little bit less movement in the beginning, but at this point, I'm feeling it quite a lot, especially in like the middle of the night. I find that there is just so much movement that it's starting to interfere with sleep. But at this point, I'm still feeling pretty good. One of the hard things is that I did deal with a week-long headache for a while. I think it was pretty primarily because of the sinus infection that I was dealing with, but that is no fun when you are pregnant because I find that like what you can take for that doesn't really actually help very much. So I mostly just powered through it, but I'm feeling a lot better now. I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a bump date. This is what the bump is currently looking like at 20 weeks pregnant. I think this week on Thursday, I will be 21 weeks pregnant, which is insane that <laughs> we are now past the halfway mark. Also, this super cute set is actually a maternity set that I got from Pink Blush. They sent me the cutest pieces and I'm pretty sure this is still in stock. So I will put a link in the description box if any of you guys want to check it out. So I spoke too soon on the nap thing. <laughs> I think I got like an hour and 20 minutes before Jude was up. Um, so he's just chilling with me now. The party is in a couple of hours and I'm gonna put together a quick appetizer to bring. One of my favorite things that my mom always did when I was younger was crock pot meatballs around Christmas time. It was always the appetizer that she brought. And so I feel like I've kind of continued that tradition and now it's always the like main appetizer that I bring. But I'm gonna get some meatballs ready. So I'm gonna put these into the crock pot for like three hours. And then what I put in with it is some sweet baby rays and basically i empty this entire jar of barbecue sauce into it and then i also do a little bit of grape jelly so i'll probably do like half a jar of grape jelly and then the other thing that i do just to give it a little bit of kick is some chili garlic sauce so i'll probably do like two tablespoons of that you don't want to do too much because it will actually make the meatballs quite spicy which is what i learned the last time i made them so i'm gonna put all that together now i know that barbecue sauce grape jelly and chili sauce is a weird combo but believe me these are always such a crowd pleaser at every party that we go to Everyone's always happy there's meatballs. So just put it on too high for like three hours and then you can just bring them warm in the crock pot with you and you're good to go.
children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When, oh, our cookies are done. Should we go get them out of the oven? Let's get it. As much as I do love a good excuse to wear clothes that feel like pajamas all day, I thought it was probably time to change my outfit before we go to this Christmas party tonight. It's very low key, so I'm just wearing a little sweater dress, which is also from Pink Blush. I'll show you before we go. Pink Blush really did hook me up before the holidays with the cutest pieces, so I'll put a link to all of those in the description box for you. My daughter is currently watching a live spoke too soon after spraying that perfume. My daughter is currently watching a live performance of the Russian Nutcracker Ballet. She's a big fan of ballet and honestly, Jared's not home yet. I need a second to get myself ready and to like pull all of the baking together, wrap the gifts and do all that stuff before we go. So I have no problem with her watching some live ballet for a couple of minutes while I do all of those things. Bye bye. Bye bye. Are you closing the shower? All right, we are all ready to go. This is the full sweater dress that I was telling you guys about and the boots that I'm wearing it with. They are from Steve Madden. I got them on like a really great Black Friday sale for like 60 bucks, which was such a steal. But I am going to wrap this vlog up here. By the time that we get back from this party, it's probably gonna be pretty late and we're gonna just be like putting the kids down to sleep and all of that stuff. I have tape on my arm from wrapping presents and turns out wrapping presents with a 14 month old is basically just reversing their unwrapping while you are trying to wrap. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I'm pretty sure this is the last day in the life vlog that I'm going to have go up this year. I still have, I'm pretty sure, two more videos before 2024. So it's not quite the end of things for the year yet, but it's the last day in the life vlog of the year. So. Thank you for coming along with me, joining me on my day today at home with the kids. And I wanted to remind you guys that if you wanna check out FabFitFun for this holiday season, that they do have an offer for you guys. The first offer, if you wanna save on their seasonal membership, is a 20% off of your first box. So all you have to do is use the code Beth at checkout. All of the details are on the screen and you can get 20% off of your first box. So it'll be around $47.99 for up to $350 dollars worth of product which is awesome second option is if you get the annual membership and again if you do that you will get a $200 surprise gift from FabFitFun which is so exciting so if you go that route the code that you want to use at checkout is Beth gift and you can look on the screen for all of those details but thank you to FabFitFun for working with me on this video Thank you guys for being here. I hope that you are having the loveliest, coziest holiday season. And until my next video, I love you guys. I'm praying for you guys and I will see you soon.